everybody it's your girl Bella how are you doing so today is vlog number one I try to tape the other day and I don't know how it came out I honestly don't know but I'm doing this one I'm gonna label it vlog number one because I'm looking pretty mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have my I dream of Jeannie hairdo up so um what can I say that's been going on I saw a young lady on the train and when we finally spoke, I said I'm going to talk about her in the video. She's a young black woman, a young black lady, young girl. She's, yeah, she's a young girl, okay, in her 20s, and her early 20s, if she's even 20. She's maybe 19, I don't know. She had a honey blonde weave, which suited her perfectly. It was beautiful. It suited her skin complexion, and her lips were like a pink, not like a candy yum yum pink but a pink bright pink without being overly drastic uh, so hello young lady how are you doing i just wanted to give you a shout out we rode the train we rode the six train to the four train to brooklyn and i thought she was a sweetie and i think she had a winged eyeliner um a pencil liner and she looked cute that day yes her outfit everything was on point it's not like she was dramatically you know dressed but casual and it was perfect and i love the honey weave on her the honey blonde weave suits her perfectly and the lipstick needless to say you found one that matches your skin complexion kudos to you what else do we have we have some handsome men on that train you know i have the latest issue of ebony I'm sorry I'm looking at my wall, but that's my neighbor's wall right here. And I tend to hear everything. Everything. I don't want to actually say what I hear, but we're going to make this quick. Get the latest issue of Ebony if you haven't already gotten it for November. Men, you need to find this because this is for you guys. This will benefit you. So what else has been going on? So I wanted to bring to light, these are the papers from New York. This is the AM. And this is the Metro. And um, I'm reading the Fifty Shades of Grey. And I have to say that they chose who Christian is going to be. So I wanted to show it to you. If you haven't already found out. Oh my gosh. I think they picked the right person. I can see this. It, I was like oh my gosh. I can't wait till the movie actually comes out. His name is... Oh my gosh, his name is da, 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 Jamie Dornan. Dorman? I know they had it. Okay, here it goes. Here it goes. His name is Jamie. He's Northern Irish. Jamie Dornan. Yes, that's his name. So I'm going to show a picture of what he looks like. This is our lead actor, Christian Gray. You see him? I think I could see it. I'm on book two and I'm loving it. They said Anastasia Steele is Dakota Johnson. Who's Dakota Johnson? I, I got to look her up, but it doesn't matter because I can't wait. And I hope that the movie definitely replicates the book. Because when I read um Harry Potter and, this, and the, the Sorcerer's Stone, I read the first book. And I was already late. I watched Harry Potter on cable. And when I finally watched that movie, it was exactly like the book. They did awesome. So I love that. What else has been going on? Well, nothing much. I'm single. It's not like I have really much to do. Somebody just texted me. So let's see what it says. Not a damn thing. Okay? Not a damn thing. You know, what can I say? I don't know what to say to you ladies. Okay, this is a vlog. What the hell do I talk about? I'm an aggressive girl. And reading the Fifty Shades of Grey is not helping. It truly isn't. When I was like... And then I'm listening to my R&B sounds in my ear. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I miss having that closeness. I miss, I miss just kissing him. Mwah. I know that look corny. I don't know what to tell you. I do not attract the opposite sex easily. 
one of the cleaning guys actually, you know, whenever I wear makeup, he actually notices. And I'm like this, oh, you notice. And I notice him too, is the look that he gives. He may look kind of cocky and arrogant, but I actually find him to be cute. Then there's another one, and um, he's very shy. Not shy per se, but I think that he doesn't know how to approach me. And it could be that he doesn't know how to. From my understanding, he's had challenging relationships before, but I'm just not that person. And I don't like to be labeled like I'm crazy or that I have issues or that where I forgot what they gave us. But let me explain to you something. Just because I have a job and I take care of myself, don't get it twisted. I am aggressive and I will approach you. I will openly flirt with you, but I don't touch you and I don't, I don't overstep those boundaries either you're interested or not i've already given you my number and my thing is in fella general fellas it goes both ways if you're interested in the girl then you need to step up to the plate i didn't say you gotta you know buy her a 15 carat ring and all that shit what i'm saying is that how do i know you actually like me if you don't even attempt to truly call me or attempt to meet me halfway for coffee or say you know what bella why don't we meet up for some coffee you like coffee um do you like lounges i know of a lounge and i would like to take you to a lounge or how about saying you know what there's a new wing spot do you eat wings what do you like to eat or something let's just go out and get a quick quick bite or let's go hit barnes and nobles or let's go for you know a little stroll i know it's a little chilly but i would like to just take a walk with you i'm actually open for that i can't help it if you met women who are not interested in that and fellas when a lady steps to you it's not for you to go running to the hills screaming like oh this bitch is crazy ah! no we're not trying to take away your manhood but you know what in this day and age we're gonna step up to the plate if you don't i mean if i feel the vibes that you feeling me and i'm feeling you why not i'm gonna step up to you and nothing wrong with that but i see that me stepping up to the plate is not helping so I thought for so long that I was single was because I didn't wear no makeup, I didn't take care of my clothing, nothing. I'm going to be honest with you, it doesn't matter whether I wear makeup or not. Although I do notice how the guys look at me, the guys, you know, in general, you know who you are. When you look at me with makeup, it's totally different than the way you look at me without makeup. And the funny thing is, is that without makeup, I am very flirtatious and even more aggressive. And then you can tell, like, the way my stance is, what y'all call swag. Yo, I stand back, and I'm staying lurking in the shadows, and I'm going to look at you because I will flirt with my eyes. I truly flirt openly with my eyes. I don't even have to say anything because you're going to know what I'm what I'm thinking you're gonna know what I'm what I'm about to do or what even what I'm thinking what's just in there that I want to do and it's not like you're gonna step to me or I'm gonna step to you but I do like to stand up to you and look you up and down lick my lips and then just be like hmm yeah that's what I thought I am cocky like that I am a I'm a cocky ass like that one I can't help it that's just me I learned how to flirt and how to just put it out there like that i can't help it that that's just me that's that's me that's bella's bella has that swag like that when i go to a club and i don't like going to clubs but i do hold my own i do hold my own at the lounges and it's not like anybody steps to me either no guy steps to me with or without makeup i don't get guys that truly truly step to me one did one did this big guy big guy He's way taller than me. And look what time is it? It is freaking 1023. And he's supposed to be letting me know where we're going to because it's his treat. Let me tell you something. He hasn't called me and I am home. 
I'm not leaving out my house. My shirt is about to come off. I'm about to lay down. Take that to the bank. I bet you your ass that check is going to fucking bounce because you don't keep Bella waiting. You're not going to keep me waiting. I could have easily went to an after work spot like the social butterfly that everybody goes to, which I promised this girl from my job. I said, you know what? In two weeks, we're going to go. We're not doing OT. We're just going to go straight from work about five and go straight to this place have some drinks chill we're gonna take the bus together back towards downtown brooklyn and then we'll just you know ride the train what have you i'm just saying that's the way i like to do things what else can i tell you i don't know what else to tell you but if you have any questions seriously i would like to do a q a session ask the questions and i'm gonna answer them anything i will be as honest or um or say we're not gonna go there that's going to be my answer. We're not going to go there. So ask me questions. Ask me anything. When I ask anything that's off of your head that you would like to know about me, ask away. And I'll be more than willing to answer them or say, we're not going to go there. I'm just saying. So with that being said, thank you for just stay tuning to this crazy ass vlog number one. And, um... And stay tuned for a Q and A. As soon as you answer, as soon as you ask the questions, <coughs> I'm gonna collect them, and I'm going to answer them. Okay. And like I said um, before in my other videos, thumbs up this video, subscribe and comment. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Comment below. Don't forget to ask your questions. And if you have a friend who's in need of cheering up. And you think that she would like my channel, even he would like my channel? Pass my name along. Have them subscribe to my channel. Let them watch. Let them watch, let them subscribe, and let them comment below as well. Pass me along because sharing is caring. By now, I'm going to stand up because I don't have a remote control. It's not like I'm all fancy schmancy and I got money like that. But I figured why not. So let's get up and go, okay? Because... It's time to upload a video and I already have my cheese. <laughs> it just fell on the floor. <clears throat> With that being said, I have to give y'all kisses. Thank you so much for just being supportive and encouraging me. Bye now.